is a general reading this may or may not resonate okay if it doesn't check out your other placements if you need a personal reading all that information is going to be below the person you're dealing with is um getting you very confused is what i'm getting here okay this person is making you very confused you don't know what's really going on in this connection because this person is a procrastinator all right this person is not really really investing into this connection okay so they talk you know they come and go come and go is what i'm getting here yes this person does want to talk to you or this but this person is obsessing about communication with you but they don't heavily invest into you as much as you do okay i think you really really have a lot of feelings for this person you daydream about them okay but the thing is i think more than daydreaming i think this is this person here who's getting you very confused in your head you don't know what to expect next from this person okay but um definitely procrastinator like i said and definitely someone who is thinking about communicating with you but their approaches towards you are very immature which is driving you nuts this person is very stuck in their head very stuck in their head okay so uh, i think this person that you're dealing with right this person has a very restless mind okay so um uh they 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 start something with a lot of excitement but this person does have a hard time completing the task is also what i'm getting here they don't learn from their mistakes okay i feel this person out here they don't i mean they don't learn from others mistakes they like to learn from their own mistakes okay and this makes them very harsh very very rigid to change their whole thoughts opinions and decisions and i also get that once this person makes a decision they stick to the end you know they they stick to a decision here so very stubborn energy out here uh this person is going to be restless and rigid for right now okay which is why again they keep contemplating right they keep procrastinating about whether what they want to talk with you or not this person stays chooses to stay in a situation on their own okay they're coming in their own way out here you know uh could be someone overly materialistic also but uh this person definitely someone here who chooses to stay in their own head okay if they would trust their intuition they would see that there is a solution there is a way how they can salvage the relationship you know and they can come forward and probably at least offer an apology or at least offer uh, a substantial something a stable communication or something that uh, adds on um to some value to this connection okay but they're still not doing that because they're stuck in their head now either there could be a lot of past influences which is stopping this person from getting out of their head and taking action towards you or something's happened within the relationship okay or it could just be plain fear plain negative attitude you want the other hand here this is driving you nuts okay i think you're overthinking over analyzing here and uh, it's leading you to a lot of stress and almost also to a place of burnout out here yeah Wow. Yeah, see they want to communicate finally. Thank you. This person does want to communicate, okay? This person does want to uh give you some clarity here. They do want mental clarity with you. I think they're trying to clear their head by not taking action right now. Okay? I think they're looking forward by staying in this energy, stuck energy. They're trying to see how they can come towards you with clarity, give you the best clarity and clear out the air with you. You on the other hand here, 3 of swords in reverse. 3 of swords in reverse. Yeah, this person is Yeah, I think you're ready to move on. I think you don't you you your your uh <clears throat> your you have your confidence, okay? You're probably reviving your confidence, okay? You're keeping your options open also probably. But I think you're trying to get out of this connection. You're trying to heal from this connection. You're trying to focus on what you think you're more passionate about, something that you want to do. No longer chasing this person here, standing in your power. This person sees you as someone probably who has a lot of options also. But I think your self confidence is something that's pushing you to move away from this person you're trying to heal i think you're trying to heal from this connection there could be a lot of negative self talk that you do to this uh, towards this connection also but i think more than anything else you have gone through this period of procrastination and i think you um want i don't think there's so much of a reconciliation from your side but it's more like um i know what i want and if this person is not ready to give me what i want right i'm ready to move forward is what i'm getting here whilst this person wants to come towards you with a brand new beginning i like this beginning because this beginning has a lot of clarity it's a lot of honesty 
okay it's a very truthful new beginning that this person wants to give you yeah see that's what i said right you're you're refusing to compromise with this person there's no compromise from your side you're just not going to compromise you're not going to back down you want what you want you've been fed up tired you know beaten wounded warrior kinds you've been fighting for this you had the strong willpower to fight for this you've put in a lot of energy okay and i think you've done this with this person over and over and over again and now there's a time where you're like you know what you had uh, you didn't make a bad judgment in the past year okay maybe you were in that idealistic dream world that everything will be okay once uh, every day but uh, i think you were running away from reality now i think you're finally working on yourself you're finally looking at this in a more realistic view and um, i think you're giving up on this connection that's what you're doing you're giving up on this connection yeah you're just like i can't do this any longer there's exhaustion from your side you're very exhausted ready to move on from this connection okay i don't see you as still giving up on this as in like just letting the load go i think it's more like you know what i no longer putting in any more effort into this connection okay because there is a lack of compromise from your side or this or, you know you both are not meeting each other halfway and like i said right you put in a lot of effort into this connection for a lot of you and um past the past uh, issues with this person or there could have been a past where there were a lot of hurdles right and the past is uh, traumatizing you because of which you ha did have your cards up but you didn't let this connection go but now finally you're uh, giving up queen of swords this person does want to communicate with you and i think they will communicate with you very 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 clearly they're going to give you the communication that you need this is going to be very cold very truthful communication i think this person is going to come towards you with like you know wearing a false mask like they know they have a lot of love for you right but they're wearing a false mask and they're going to try and be very logical and very rational towards you is what i'm getting yeah very rational the queen of swords is someone you know who obviously is fed up right but um it could also be this person here who has very clear thoughts and what they're going to speak right is going to be something that's just going to make a lot of sense to you because they're going to operate uh from like i said from their head there it's going to be like a head over heart decision to talk to you and to uh, clear the air with you it's the queen of swords Yeah, they're very emotionally attached to you, you know. They're very emotionally attached to you. They have a lot of love for you. That's what's happening here. And they have a lot of regret, okay? And I think they want to cut out the regret and they want to have a new beginning with you, which is um which probably has a lot of potential. That's what I'm getting. What action do you plan on taking? What action does this person plan on taking? Wow, they're feeling so guilty. You're planning to run away from this connection. <laughs> yeah, I'm seriously saying that. I mean, you are you you're planning to run away from this connection. What's the nine of wands? Yeah, you're no longer working on this. Guys, you're no longer <clears throat> you're no longer working on this connection. I told you, right? You're going to you're going to you're going to be very passionate. You're going to do what makes you happy. You're just leaving this person. You're out. You're out of this connection. You've left the table. You've left the building. Why did you just say table? <laughs> you've left the building this person is guilty they're coming back and i think this time that they're coming back right they they'll keep coming back too they'll keep coming back just don't be surprised if you ever feel like this person's going to let you go and you know now they won't come back no matter how long the communication has been they keep coming back that's just a part of them okay they're never going to be openly telling you how they really really feel with the queen of swords yeah, again remember the queen of swords does not imply someone who openly opens up about their communication this is someone who wants to talk to you straight forward okay so yeah this person is always going to run away from commitment or probably always going to run away from opening up emotionally okay and they're coming back that's the action that they're going to take towards you they feel very guilty all right they feel very guilty what are the outcome let's see the outcome here yeah see you're no longer taking action to, i mean see this person 
they come towards you right but when it comes to the commitment part right see like i said this person still has a very passive approach it's that 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 intention of you know being like that masculine energy you know of like wanting to go there get get up and get what you want that intention of wanting to make shit happen out here they're still lacking that you know why because this person here is not emotionally stable they're still not stable you know and just getting over on this person does not have that internal power that internal strength to face and fight the challenges that are a part of this connection you know this could be someone very isolated also okay but this person usually faces a lot of disappointments and failures a lot of sadness in their life because they don't open up they don't open up they choose to be quiet here and they usually gain wisdom or learn lessons you know or pay a big price after mostly losing something very very precious okay be it an object be it a connection and yeah once you walk away they're going to realize that's the kind of do you see how the light is just falling on this mat on 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 this and this right so i feel like this is the theme of the reading here where you're walking away you're running in fact you're running away you're probably wanting to be passionate you're just running away from this connection is what i'm getting very enthusiastically you know and i see see, see this part here a little bit of seven of swords in reverse here right this is what the problem is now come here right this person still does not take action towards you and you're no longer waiting you're like see ya that's what you're doing and they're coming back but they still don't take the uh, the action and the outcome here very passive approach here this person tends to doubt their themselves you know they second guess themselves but again overall they don't have the strength and energy more than energy they don't have the strength to overcome the obstacles you know they still not being able to fight for this connection distance could be a problem here between you both uh so that's what i have for you uh yeah distance long distance is what i'm getting here so yeah all right that's what i have for you all right but i feel that once they lose this connection i don't know why i was um um why is that why i was told to say this i feel once they lose you right that's when this person is going to be mature that's when they're going to move towards spirituality etc okay but um yeah it's going to take for them to lose you in order for them to realize what they had to put in what they had to uh, actually put into the connection but that communication with the queen of swords it's going to be like hey you know what like yeah let's try to make in the work out or they'll just tell you what really went wrong in the connection but with the emotional part they're still not doing that still not doing that which is why you're walking away okay so that's what i have for you for the speed and resonates leave your comments below bye bye